Hi friends, uh, I am Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see how to synchronize data from database to the Salesforce using Mule ESB. Okay? So what component we will use today? First we will use the database connector. We will use the poll component under the poll, uh, poll scope. We will going to enable the watermark. So why we have to enable the watermark? To pick the newly added record into the database and synchronize with the Salesforce. And finally, we will use the Salesforce connector to create a record in the Salesforce. Okay, let we will directly jump to the demo. So we will slowly, slowly uh, see will, uh, one demo. So we, I will say file new mule project. So I will give a name as a SDFC DB sync F. Okay, so I will select mule runtime as a 3.3.3 only. So you can select depending on your uh, requirement uh, I will keep everything as a default okay and I will click on the finish so once I click on the finish it will create a new application for me fine so now one minute just give me some time so I have to do some other thing uh, I have one minute okay so first thing I will look for poll scope okay first i will show what we, are, we will going to do so we have a, this database okay we we have a database called account data under which we have a salesforce account okay so it looks like that see we have account name address still city state okay so what i will do first i will delete all the old record and we will start with a new one let me delete everything okay Fine, everything has been deleted. Let me close this. Okay, one minute. Now we don't have any record. Fine. So now I will drag and drop pool scope into the message canvas canvas region. Now second thing, I will drag and drop the database connector. Okay. So if you are using any database connector, okay, in this case, we will going to connect to this Microsoft SQL database. So we require one DAR file. There is a one dependency file that we require. Okay, so what we can do, we have to right click on the application. We can go to the build path, under configure build path, okay, and under library, we have to click on the add external jar. So I look for the SQL JDBC 4.jar. Okay, this is my jar file that we need to add, right? Okay. Now we will do, uh, we will start configuring the database connector first. So this is the connector configuration. I will click on the add button. I will go into select generic database configuration for Microsoft SQL Server. You have to do select generic database configuration. Click on OK. And other thing, I have to provide the URL to connect database and driver class name. So this is my URL. So JDBC SQL Server, server name, port number, database name. So we're going to use the account data. See, this is my account data. Okay, and username, password for your SQL authentication. Fine. I will give a URL. Now, other thing, we have to provide a driver name. I will provide driver class name. And now I will say test connection. Okay, the test connection is successful. Say okay. Okay, okay. I will select operation after the. Anyway, we will going to use the select operation. Okay, so we have to write the query. So we will write afterwards. Before that, we have to configure the poll scope. So poll for is configuring the poll scope. You have to enable the watermark. So now, what we have to do? We have to, you know, like every time we get a message from database. Fine. So in database, we have one unique ID. That is the ID. So we will going to store the maximum ID max id from that message into the variable into variable so we will give the variable name as a message account id fine what is the default value for i will say zero i will, will start with zero now we have to select okay what what we have to select it could be a first value last value max value mean value i will say max value fine and what should be selector uh, expression so it is id right so what I will do has payload ID. We will I will write mule expression language. 
okay now i can go and write a database query i will say uh, let me copy this data query name uh, oh, sorry table name i will say select star from i will say control v where id should be greater than we are store we are using flow max account id right so we can access that using flow bars flow bars dot c max account id so we want suppose we have store store the id 6 like we have received the message from database having id 6 now we want the other message which has a value greater than 6 so it can be 7 it can be 8 anything right now other thing I want to use Salesforce connector. Right? I will drag and drop Salesforce connector. We will start configuring the Salesforce connector. First thing we have to configure connector configuration. Under connector configuration, it will open one pop up window. So we have a four type of configuration we can do. We will use basic authentication for our demo. We have to provide the username. Then password. I will not going to use the password okay and you require the security token so how can you get a security token you have to go to your profile your under profile my settings under my settings you have to go to personal under personal you see reset my security token once you click on reset my security token it will going to send a security token on your email id like this okay and this will be a security token it is very important don't share your security token with anyone so i have already security token with me so i will copy this i will paste it here once every once you provide username password security token you can validate your connectivity or configuration see the test connection is successful right okay so what we have to do what operation we require we have to create a record But what is required? Where? So, what we have to do? We will go to this add button. We click on account. So, we have to create an account record to the Salesforce. So, your account record looks like that. Okay. Fine. Let me select the object. So, what object should be there? There are some issue. Let me check. Okay, it faced the record. I have to select account. Fine. So that is the configuration you have to do. Now what I will do? I will use that. Now see, you will get a message. You will get a record from database. It will be in some different format. So okay, and whenever whatever you have to send the message to Salesforce, it will be in different format. So what we have to do? We have to transform the message before sending to Salesforce. So we can use the transform message. You can see like see your input metadata and your output metadata is automatically generated fine you can see that we don't have to do anything we don't have to either create input metadata or output metadata. it's automatically generated depending on whatever query you have given okay here you select the account operation so it will give the all the fields available or available with account so we will start mapping so first thing you have to map state state fine now straight what i will do i will say i will map uh, billing state address with billing state and state is also with bill we can do that like that okay it will add both field if you want to add something more space between both field so you can put that fine country go with Country. Okay, I will say ID. I don't require state already map city with city. Okay, account name. We need a postal code also. Yeah, this is here. Postal code with a billing postal. And finally, we want to map the account name with name. Okay, so now we have done with our application. Fine. So let me start the application. I will say OK.
ओके प्लीज डिप्लॉय वेट वेट ओके यू कैन सी वाटर मार्क रिक्वायर द सिंक्रोनस पोली वी हैव डन वन मिस्टेक लाइक इफ यू आर यूजिंग द वाटर मार्क विद द पोल सो यू हैव टू डू लाइक क्लिक ऑन द फ्लो सिलेक्ट द फ्लो प्रॉपर्टी यू हैव टू गो टू द प्रोसेसिंग स्ट्रेटजी and under process strategy you have to define sync rows now again stop and start your application it should not fail this time let's wait our application is getting deployed it will be ready in some few seconds see your application has been deployed it has been deployed successfully now See, it was just saying watermark will not be like we don't have any record right now in the database. So what we can do, we will add some records. Fine. Instead of Zaham Jabba, I will say James Hopkins. Let me check if there is any record with James Hopkins in the. We have a James Bond in James anything, but we don't have a James Hopkins in the Salesforce. So I will add this record. As soon as I will add this record, it will get synchronized with Salesforce.com. So now you refresh the page again. Let me refresh it. Let me go to J. See James Hopkins. It has been newly added record. See. See we can verify the detail also like High Street, Shivaji Chowk, like see High Street, Shivaji Chowk, Mumbai, Maharashtra, I do a six six eight. We will try to add one more record. Okay, let me say Mark Carter. Now, from instead of Mumbai, I will select some other thing. Bangalore. I will say Karnataka. Okay, I will try to add this record. Now, let me check how many records in our database. We have only one record. Let me add this. Now check. There will be two record, four and five. Fine. So let me go back. What is the record added? Mark Carter. Let's wait. We will go to M. See the Mark Carter has been added. India, Karnataka, everything. B. Okay. See. Bangalore, Mumbai. Okay. Now we will try to add one last record. So you can verify it will not going to add any duplicate record because we have unable to watermark. See, it's only one mark cutter. It has not picked the mark cutter again from the database and try to synchronize with Salesforce. Let me do one thing. Let me put one last record. I will say. Uh, let me find some name, good name. I will say Steve. Instead of Steve, I will say Luke Hobbs. Okay, let me find if there is any record with Luke Hobbs. And go to L. There is no no record starting with L. Let me got synchronized. I am hundred percent sure it may see it is very far. I have added in the database. It doesn't take a seconds to synchronize with the Salesforce.com. So now you know how how easy to synchronize your data from database to the Salesforce. Okay. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching video.